वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट टू नाइन सो इन पार्ट ए फॉर अ गिवन अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस दिस इज द गिवन अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस डिटरमाइन द रेशो टी ओवर डब्ल्यू ऑफ मैक्सिमम अलाउेबल टॉर्क टी एंड वेट पर यूनिट लेंथ डब्ल्यू फॉर होलो शाफ्ट शोन सो दिस इज अ होलो शाफ्ट एंड इन बी पार्ट डिनोटिंग टी ओवर डब्ल्यू नॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस रेशो फॉर सॉलिड शाफ्ट ऑफ सेम रेडियस सी टू Express the ratio T over W for hollow shaft in term of T over W naught and C one over C two. So from this figure three point two nine, you can see this is a hollow shaft having internal radius C one and external radius C two, and it is given that uh, weight per unit length, which is denoted by small W. and length of uh, shaft is l clear uh, as we know that weight total weight of the shaft which is represented as uh, capital w is weight of hollow shaft in part a we have been asked to find the ratio t over w for this hollow shaft when you calculate this t over w for hollow shaft then you have to represent t over w for hollow shaft in term of t of w t over w not And C one and C two for this hollow shaft in for for ratio in term of solid shaft. So let's start and solve this problem. So we know that weight per unit length is will be equal to capital W, which is weight per unit length, and weight of this hollow shaft will be equal to rho g. L into a, where rho is density, g is uh, acceleration due to gravity, l is length, and a is the area of cross-sectional area of this hollow pipe divided by l. So from here, l l will cancel. So we will only get rho g into a. Now, what is a for this hollow pipe? So it will be equal to pi into c two square minus C one square. You can put it in the above formula. Weight per unit length will be equal to rho g into pi into C two square minus C one square. Now we have also given that maximum allowable sharing stress is uh, for a given allowed sharing sharing stress. We have. maximum allowable torque t is t allowable and we know that maximum allowable sharing stress is equal to t allowable into c uh, here c will be equal to c2 which is the outer radius divided by j so from here you will get t allowable will be equal to t to allowable into j divided by c2 Also, J is the polar moment of inertia. So J for this hollow shaft is equal to pi by two into C two four minus C one power four, and this is for hollow shaft. Okay, so we will put it in this formula. In this formula, so we will get. Uh, T allow torque allowable will be equal to tau allowable into J is pi by two C two four minus C one power four divided by C two. Okay, so we know that this C two power four minus C C one power four can be written as C two square plus C one square. Into c two square minus c one square. I will. This is the formula. A square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So you can put the value of this value and replace it with this. So I will replace it. So we will get torque allowable is equal to t allowable. Into pi by two, into 
c2 square minus c1 square into c2 square plus c1 square over c2 okay so this is if i rearrange it so it will be equal to pi by 2 into c2 square minus c1 square into c2 square plus c1 square divided by c2 into ta allowable so this is the equation or relationship of torque allowable and uh, shear stress now we'll move toward our first part and our first part was to find t over w for hollow shaft clear so again you have this t which is uh, we are going to find t over w for hollow shaft so again t is pi by 2 into c2 square minus c1 square into c2 square plus c1 square divided by c2 into ta allowable and you have also w and w you know that w is this one this is rho g pi i will write it rho g pi rho g pi into c2 square minus c1 square okay so if we simplify it further so this t over w for hollow shaft will be equal to this pi will cancel with this pi clear so we will only uh, this c2 square will be cancelled with this so we will be left with the uh, ta allowable into c2 square plus c1 square divided by 2 rho g into c2 and this is for i will highlight it this is for hollow shaft now we will move toward our uh, next portion that if what if we find t over w for solid shaft solid shaft i will write s so you replace uh, this c1 with zero clear so when you replace this with c1 so we will get t allowable into i will write it again this will be equal to t allowable into c2 square plus c1 will be equal to zero because shaft is now uh, solid shaft divided by 2 rho g c2 okay so if we further simplify it it will be equal to t allowable into c2 square over 2 rho g c2 c2 and c2 will be cancelled and we will get this torque over w for solid shaft will be equal to c2 into ta allowable divided by 2 rho g and that is for solid shaft now we will move towards second part in second part we have been asked to find t over w hollow divided by t over w for solid so we will represent them so again t over w for hollow 
is divided by T over W for solid is equal to T over W for hollow is T allowable into C2 square plus C1 square divided by 2 rho G into C2 and divided by T, T, w, T over W for solid is C2 into ta allowable divided by 2 rho G. So this T allowable and T allowable will be cancelled. This 2 rho G, 2 rho G will be cancelled and we will left only uh, C2 square plus C1 square over C2 square. So this is equal to T over W for hollow divided by T over W for solid. So if you further simplify it, you can take, uh, you can divide it. So it will be 1 plus C1 square over C2 square will be equal to this term. And if you further simplify it, so T over W for hollow shaft will be equal to T over W for solid shaft into 1 plus C1 square over C2 square. Since for solid shaft it is represented as T naught w, no, no, 0 or uh, solid shaft is representative over W whole knot in question so it will be t over w into 1 plus c1 square over c2 square and we have represented t over w for hollow shaft in term of t over w naught into c1 into 1 plus c1 over c1 square over c2 square so this was all about this problem 3.29 I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.